Hi, diddly oddly universe. It is I, Preston Yui. And we are back in the world of Fallout 4. And Ada sees somebody in the distance. But I don't know who she could see. I'm in caution too. Yeah, when I load this up, if you're wondering why I'm on a pause screen, when I load this up, Ada starts shooting off into the distance. She's traveling she that way. I don't see anything. Which is weird, she was shooting this way. So yeah. Stupid robot companions. Stupid. Oh by the way, welcome to October. Um spooky fest. Really psyched to see that Shake of the Pools um, is playing Resident Evil 4. Really cool shit. Tomorrow we'll be going up a new top 10 video. Um, not even going to tell you what that top 10 is. Let's just say it involves something spooky since it's October, Spooky Fest, and the like. I don't even know how I am going to do all these spooky content stuff because I'm not that big into spooky things. I mean, I got one more thing planned and then I'm going to have to figure something out for the last week in October. Or last Sunday in October, I should say. Unless there's five Sundays in October. But that doesn't make sense. Oh no, a lake. Let's walk around it. Yeah, so we're on our way to Fort Hagen. Uh, we're looking for a robot. A robot. This is a ghoul area. I remember specifically ghouls being here. I hope there's no ghouls here. I don't want to fight a ghoul. I hope you guys are liking Until Dawn. Until Dawn I have recorded... Yep, it's a ghoul area. Boop 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 shoot you in the head. Boop 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 shoot you in the head. Boop 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 shoot you in the head. Everybody's getting shot in the head. Doop. And doop. That goes like, my brothers! How dare you shoot my brothers! Oh no! You shot me too. <laughs> my body went to the earth. I shall become one with the earth and be reborn. So these uh, scavengers didn't make it too far. Unless they made it really far and then they got screwed in the end. I don't know. I don't know what happened to these travelers. Don't ask me. Something's crawling on my foot. That was a bug. Probably a fly. Alright. So yeah, Until Dawn is going up on my channel. Shake Pool is doing Spooky Fest on his channel, Resident Evil. Pretty awesome game, Resident Evil, F Resident, <laughs> Resident Evil 4. I don't know what viral, but uh, viral rack is doing, but I'm not subscribed to viral rack because he doesn't do much gaming content. And I'm not that big into music. I think that's his main deal. Oh, we gotta go help out Amber and Anthony Farm. Damn, it, I didn't want to go in here. Let's look around. There's a safe back here. Oh no, that's a hatchet. Not hatchet, it's a hatch. 
There's an axe back here. How far away are we from every empty farm? Got it. Got it. Hopefully the reward will be worth all that effort. Well, I mean, right away. Now it's lockpick. It wasn't that much of an effort. I didn't lose anything, just time. And right away is good. Yeah, we're a way ways from Amaranthi Farm, and that's like out of our way. Or is it? Where is Amaranthi Farm? Fort Hagen private land. Where's the farm? That sunset tides. Oh yeah, we are way far away from Amaranthi Farm. Ah, uh, they'll be fine. Hopefully. <laughs> That's something I wish they would have thought better of. Um, the the uh, help this settlement out. I wish if I put down enough defenses there, it would help the percentage of if they die or not. Or not die if they lose their stuff or not. Because the way it is now, it's just a random dice roll basically. Hopefully someone's phone that is ringing right now doesn't pop up in the recording. Seems to be my least favorite thing is like there's just ambient noises that goes on in my house that I'm like I hope that doesn't hope that police car that drove by doesn't come up on the recording. That would shock. I hear guns. I don't know if it's outside my house or in the game. I'm gonna assume outside my house would sound like people shooting. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm not alarmed by guns being shot, it's because I live like near the woods and stuff. So you always have like the hunters going out testing their guns and shit. It's never like Someone's robbing a place, you know. We had only one incident with a guy with a gun, and this is... We're going to be back here later. We only had one incident with a guy with a gun, and it wasn't like he aimed at somebody. It was that someone hit a deer near his house and decided to put the deer out of its misery, but didn't move the deer into, like, the woods or something. He just left it on the side of the road. And I was like, dude, come on now. That's going to be rotting and stinking. And then he thought someone broke into his house and stole his TV. So he, like every day he would go out and shoot his gun into the woods. And I'm like, dude, whoever took your shit is long gone by now. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Rolling attack. Huzzah! Oh, there's a traitor over here. What the? I hear gunfire. Now, if I was the evil character, because I think I know what this traitor is. Sure, has got a good setup. All he would need is a turret right here. If I was the evil I character, I would himself. just go BAM! Pop her in the head. I wish these random traders had more story. Like, her name was like, I don't know, Charlene or Beth, Daryl, Carl. Carl! I don't know. I'm always just disappointed when I see a random trader and they have like this whole big setup in the middle of nowhere and it's like, you live next to ghouls. This is not like the best setup for you. I wish I could like talk to them and be like, hey, you want to live at a settlement? You want a better spot to sell your goods? And not just live out into the shit bags? See, this is not a good location. 
Location, location, location. Like, there's Molarax over here. There's mole rats, ghouls. This is not a good location for your shop, lady. Where's the legendary one? There is an animal that is on my screen right now, and I bet you it's one of my cats. It's probably outside climbing my screen because he thinks he's a fucking maniac. Damn, Monrax! Stay out of my town. You're there, it's a bat. It could be a bat. That'd be fun. Second bat sighting at the old Yui house. So I found out it was at my window, and it was not a bat or a rat or a cat in a hat. It was actually a turd of a bird that was eating bugs out of a web. Web doesn't run bird, but I'm just telling you guys it was a bird at my window eating bugs out of spider webs. And spiders out of spider webs. So, yeah, cool. Thank you, bird. I don't like bugs. I don't like spiders, so... Bird, you're cool with me. You can eat all. You can bother me all you want by my window if you're gonna eat spiders and bugs. Oh yes, we are back into the game. Back into the game. Going to Fort Hagen. Hoo ha! Yeah, Fort Hagen. There's a rundown thingy over here. Let's go check it out. Check it out. What is this thingy? I'm gonna stop talking like that. It was a turd of a bird. I only called it a turd because it's the only word that I could think of on the fly that rhymes with bird. This has a terminal hooked up to it. Begin test fire. Oh shit, what did I just do? It is shaking. Oh, Lord. If we keep standing in this radiation, you're going to get sick. Oh, that's gonna blow up too. What did that do? Did I get anything special for that, or is that just goofy Easter egg bullshit? You lost armor. That's not, that's not, that's no bueno. I don't know what any of this did. Um. Yay! Woo! Explosion! I don't even know if I got a good shot of that explosion. So that may not be our thumbnail. A journey to Fort Hagen, yeah! This is the longest trek there I could have fresh traveled. Boom! Over the hill. Again, I don't feel like my sprint goes any faster than this. I am hiding, because I think there are either ghouls raiders My lost, but not forgotten. or worse I don't know what has this on caution oh they're blow flies whatever I don't want to shoot a blow fly Mind killing that? Thank you. We should come back here. I've never really traveled around this area. Other than for quest. For the quest and such. And the like. I did not get a lot of sleep today. So I feel kind of tired. 
I did not get a lot of sleep today. I'm itching my arm. Do do do. Pull out my gun. Do do boo. I want to change my gun. That's why I'm doing this. Actually, no. I'm gonna see how many people I can snipe. You want the high ground when you're sniping, so. I thought you were a bunch of Yatwai, you stupid Brahmin. You dumb cows. You scared me for a minute. I was like, oh my god! I was like, the herd of Yatwai. <laughs> now, if this was Fallout 3, there would be a Yatwai like down here or something traveling around. But it's not th Fallout 3, is it? <laughs> Gonna walk back and forth. Can you see me? Really? You can see me. Can you see them, sir? Really? It's because of Ada. They're shooting at Ada, not me. They spotted me. Damn it. Hold still so I can shoot you. Yes, come towards us, you know. Get where I can better see you. And hold still, jackass. Thank you. You, well, I mean, yeah, that's your job. That and don't die. Teddy bear. Boom, bitch. Teddy bear, you. He's like, yeah, what you gonna do? Oh, damn, you shot my head off. This guy's like, I'm the lone turret. I will survive for my brothers. And that's how you clear out a base from afar. If you find any spare parts, you be sure to let me know. Yeah, whatever. I feel like whenever I say that, I sound like, um, Johnny Bravo. <laughs> yeah, whatever. That didn't sound like Johnny Bravo at all. But you guys get my, 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 I almost said my opinion, but it's really my, my, uh, the gist of things. Is that a robot or just pieces of robot parts? Robot right arm. Um, Lightweight robot left leg. Where's the other person? I shot another person dead up here, and it was a woman. She was shot right in the noggin. I know it because I did it. This is like the robot that disappeared into oblivion. There she is. Robot chess piece. I think we have the whole robot regime now. Or maybe at least just pieces of it. I wish I could harvest that for like, uh, robot parts. Like, they're just bad junkers and I can find better robot parts than they can. These big robot bags. At least for scrap metal. Are scrap metal in this game? I think it's in this game. I know it's in New Vegas. Because there's quests specifically for scrap metal. 
where people are like, get me, get me three scrap metal, and I will give you the world. And I mean the whole world. It's my bar of chocolate, and I want it to now. Rust Devils. This, uh... Yeah, there we go. If I don't sound very energetic, it's because I got like three hours of sleep today. That's always cool. That's always fun, guys. You know, you wake up, you go, you know, what? I'm just gonna stay up. And then maybe later, I'll fall asleep at an earlier time. You know. But I was like, I have to do this video today. I don't know why, it's like six days early but when I'm recording this. I usually record all my videos two days in advance, but because I'm now on the, uh, I'm on the Let's Play schedule of Spooky Fest and other gaming, I can, um, I can remember, like, record like four days of episodes in one day instead of like four episodes for a day. Cause that's what I was doing for WWE 2K before I was like, I quit career mode. <laughs> career mode pisses me off. And here we go, I'm going to start this back up after I pause and save the recording. Alright. If you guys are wondering where the Talk and Build series is, it's uh... It's um it's coming back in November. If there's anybody that was interested. It's just not a brief hiatus for Spooky Fest. Alright, I just got a message on my phone. I was like, what is this about? It was about some World of Warcraft thing that I doesn't concern me because I don't play World of Warcraft anymore. I think this is a gun. That was weird. I made a noise. I made a loud noise. Oh man. Why is it they hear me as soon as I pull a gun out? Boom. Get him, Ada. Can I shoot their, like... Okay, all they have are thrusters. Boom! Boom, horseman! Damn. I only have level 1 of uh, Mysterious Stranger, and I don't have any mods that alter Mysterious Stranger at all. And he just pops up all the time. I'm not complaining, but... Then again, he did pop up that one time in the uh, robotics factory and shot a wall. Which was great. <sighs> Sorry about the yawning, jeez. Jeez Louise. Please don't sneeze. Ada, move. I think there's a shortcut path. I remember specifically going through a path that was like a very sneaky path. I'm just glad that this place ain't glitching up. I think there was like a glitch where I could hack that terminal and open the door. For some reason I remember that. <gasps> Man, all this yawning, I'm gonna make people tired. <laughs> I apologize.
It's like a great thumbnail. Hey. What? Hey, what? <laughs> Boom! We missed. Ah. I missed. I have no grenades on me. That's that's an oversight. No. No more burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno, burn, baby, burn. Ah. She's on fire. Burn, baby, burn. There's a completely, like, don't look this, the easiness of taking down all these enemies fool you. There's an enemy in this level that is just balls to take down. Move, Ada. Or you just stand the way that's always cool. Someone just say power armor? Like they were impressed? It's horse armor. It's horse armor. You are only a level one. Why are you even trying? You should just run in fear. She literally should have. She just been like, nope. Yeah, to take care of that. Or not, thank you. Ada, you're the best. Best robot companion ever. Sarcasm is something that robots can comprehend, right? You can comprehend that I am not being completely serious with you. And I actually hate you, Ada. Ada's a really boring companion, I'm sorry guys. She's just not fun. That's kind of why I'm doing this first, because I just don't like... I don't like anything about this, this DLC. Like, I like... I, I, I kind of like the robot building. The robot building's cool. The mechanist coming back. Cool. Ada. Not cool. The story. Kind of lame. I know Ada just gets stronger with me building her, but it's like, uh, she's not even like interesting to talk to. I don't know where she would rank on my companions list. Like, I'm trying to think who else is a companion. She would probably be. Oh, I wouldn't say she's at the bottom because there's like a companion you get later. That I'm not talking about, by the way, I'm not talking about Preston Garvey. I don't, I don't have hate for Preston Garvey. I can get why you have hate for Preston Garvey. It is annoying hearing, do you want a new settlement? Do you want to get a new settlement? Do you want to get a new settlement? What annoys me more is that he keeps on asking me if I want to date him. <laughs> I'm like, no, Preston, we're friends. This conversation should end there. I remember this being a problem in another game. I think it was Dragon Age 2, where... One character would be like, So, you like me? And then y y you would get like negative points with that character if you were like, No, dude. No, dude. We're, we're bros. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Boom! I'm a genius. Intellectual genius. No one's on my level. Boom. Oh, and the, the, you get a settlement from this place that's pretty cool, but it get, turns out it's really lame when you... Boom! All that for some grenades. And a giddy up buttercup leg. And a skeleton. Is there anything else? Nope. Lame. So yeah, um, yeah, that was the really annoying part about that game was that I, I remember the character's name too. It was Alistair, or it was something like A, and he was really cool in, um, in uh. Dragon Age Awakening, I think, was his game. 
but uh, he ended up not being cool. And Dragon H2 ends up doing shitty stuff later to Dragon H2 just ruined some characters for me. And it's not even like they ruined the character by making him homosexual because he was always homosexual but the problem was that they made him annoying <laughs> you can be whatever you want just don't be annoying <laughs> that's always my my book it's like it's like I don't care what you are just be interesting and not annoying and not a dumbass and they simultaneously made him not interesting and a dumbass at the same time he blows up basically the church in that That's game. It. And then he's like, I did it for the mages. I'm like, this is the dumbest thing. Why would you? This makes the mages look worse. <laughs> I did it for justice. This isn't justice. There's innocent people in there. <laughs> Anybody who agrees with Alistair's, uh, blowing up of the church is like you just agree with terrorism <laughs> like it's not even like a religious thing I don't care that he blew up the chantry it's that he blew up a building with innocent people in it it's messed up you don't do that <laughs> so yeah Alistair's on the shit list of characters I don't like he used to be one of my favorites too. He used to be witty and fun. But that's where I'm gonna end this here, guys. Like, favorite, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.